and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be doing the last in our series of dot art paintings and I've chosen to draw Corey from Surf's Up. But instead of using paint brushes or cotton buds, I've chosen to do it on grey paper using our finger. So if you're ready, let's go. So before I started the painting stage of Corey, I did a pencil outline as I've done before not too much detail, just enough to show me where I was going to go with the different colours. I've chosen to do it on grey paper today because I thought it would show up the white of Corey's chest and look quite effective. It's not, however, as grey as I think it could have been. So if you've got a darker grey paper, I would advise maybe to try that. But it does need to still be able to hold up to to paint, so not your regular sketchbook paper that might be a bit thin and get all crinkled when you apply paint. So far as the paint I used, I used a gouache or gouache paint which is like an opaque watercolour and I chose to use this because it is really bright, some really nice bright vibrant colours and it's fairly quick to dry as well so I thought that would be useful for layering different colours on so we don't end up with a muddy mess. We still have nice bright colours. So I did only use five colours to paint Corey here and they were white, black, lemon yellow, burnt sienna and burnt amber. So it's two different types of brown. The burnt sienna is more of an orangey brown and the burnt amber I thought might be useful for some shadows and his surfboard. I did also have an old face cloth um, just to wipe my fingers on in between colour changes. But a bit of kitchen roll or an old towel will do just fine. Now when I first started doing this I did the white paint first as you saw and I quite quickly realised that my fingers were a lot bigger than I thought they were. So the picture I'd chosen um, to do of Corey had some sort of smaller areas which were difficult to reach with my fingers or the middle finger that I was going to use so I got around this by using my little finger on the side so we could still do the dot effect um, and hopefully still try and get into those little areas um, without losing the details so after moving on to the black I decided to do his um, body with a little bit of shading in and I mixed up um, some of the lemon yellow with some white and added a little bit of burnt sienna as well just to give a bit more of a shading effect and then onto his surfboard I just used the burnt sienna or orangey light brown and I didn't use too much paint when I was applying it. I didn't want great big globules. I quite like the look of the dots and the fingerprints as well. So I thought it was quite effective to have it fairly dry. So once I'd done the um, brown for his surfboard. I went in with the burnt umber or the darker brown just to do a bit of shadow underneath his body to make it look a bit more realistic. And I also, to make brighter areas on the front of the surfboard, used a bit of the lemon yellow. It was a bit tricky doing his feet just because, as I say, they kind of blended in a bit with his board so I put a little bit of the darker brown on to 
give you a bit of definition and a bit of shading. Um, but I think that was possibly a disadvantage of doing this piece with my fingers rather than the paintbrush or felt tip or marker method for the dot art. But I still had lots of fun with it and I think it still gives quite a neat um, effect. And I think a lot of times with art it's all good um, practice and it's good sometimes to realise that next time you might do things differently or you get to know what does work and what doesn't work as well so it's all all um, useful stuff I also found with the um, areas around Corey's eyes, again it was a little bit tricky to get the detail and so I went in as you can see here with um, a black prisma colour or colour pencil just to add a really small bit of detail around the eyes and the beak. So I didn't want to go around the whole of his body and his shape just because I didn't want to take away from the technique that we were trying out today but I thought it might just help to define the areas that were important and I also used a, a black pencil crown just to give the string some form there on his shell necklace. Now as I said earlier, we did I think lose a little bit of definition on his feet so I tried to go in and just do a little bit of detail with a pencil um, just on his toenails and hopefully that didn't spoil the picture too much but I think next time I'd definitely do either a bigger outline if I was doing um, finger dot art or maybe use the paintbrush technique to do areas where there's a lot more detail. I think this method would have been good for doing Arlo, the good dinosaur, because you could get away with doing larger dots. But I still think it gives quite a nice effect and dot art is always good a little bit um, from a distance and as I say I still had fun with this I also decided to just do a little bit of detail on his ears just because um, again we lost a bit of definition and his ears are quite spiky and fluffy so here's the finished piece I hope you enjoyed it and maybe you had a go yourself well that's all for today Arctets, I hope you've enjoyed painting Cory from Surf's Up and if you have don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel and we'll see you next week for something new.